The FDA has just approved Narcan for sale over the counter. Narcan can reverse the effects of a drug overdose and essentially save a person's life. It's a nasal spray that contains a medication that can quickly restore breathing to someone who's experienced an opioid overdose. That's how it works. So for perspective, last year, Jacksonville Fire and Rescue administered Narcan to 400 people. 400. The number of overdoses, by the way, in the state in 2021, 8,000. 256 people. Now, Susan Pittman is founder of Drug Free Duval and is joining us this morning via Zoom to show us how to administer Narcan. Susan, good morning. Good morning. How are you doing? Wonderful. Thank you. First, your reaction to the FDA's decision? Well, it, it's crazy. I mean, we're so excited that this actually has progressed this far this quickly, and it's critical. Jen, I don't want to correct you, but I need to because you said that JFRD had administered 400 doses in 2022. That's per month. That's, Good, thank that's a you. monthly. Thank you. I appreciate that because that gives it more of a perspective of why it's so important that we now have Narcan available. Um, can, can you show us what Narcan looks like? I, I know it's single use, how it's administered. Can you see this right here? It's a I don't want to take it out of the blister pack because the pl the blister pack actually protects it. So I keep this with me at all times. I keep a couple of doses with me at all times. Um, if I take it out of the blister pack, it is meant to use very simply. And it's, it's a very simple instrument that has one dose in it. So what's your next question? Okay, so, and, and, and I want to, so because someone may carry this and think that they need to have it on them, which is a fantastic idea, but don't know really how to use it. It's very important for our viewers to understand that should they ever use it, you don't have to prime it, right? Absolutely. And that's one of the reasons we think training is so important. I know that you're going to mention training in a minute, but you don't prime it, which is our tendency with any kind of a nasal spray to want to go ahead and prime it. This is a single dose instrument. And it's meant to go ahead and, and get the product into the nostril very quickly and efficiently so there's no priming. If you prime it, you've lost the dose. So is it one or two pumps in each nostril? It's one dose per nostril. Okay. So you would put this single dose in one nostril. And it's, it's likely in about 30 to 40% of the times one dose will work. But in another 40% of the, of the times, you have to use two doses. Which is why it's so important to call 911. Yes. It's critical to call 911, both for that reason, you might run out of doses, and, um, but also because a person can actually re-overdose. And that's because the half-life of this particular product is shorter than the half-life of the opioids that are available, both both um, pharmaceutically prescribed and the street products. Which I think is so important. I, I went through your training, as you know, and I did not realize that. You think that you've administered this and the, and the person who overdosed will just be fine and everything's good and they don't need to go to the hospital. But the reality is 10, 15, whatever minutes later, they could essentially overdose again without taking any additional drug. Uh, let let me just ask tragedy, you. tragedy. It's a you know, total that tragedy to think that that could happen. Um, mm -hmm. Susan, what, what if you come across someone and you think they might be experiencing a, a, an overdose and you administer Narcan and that's not what their issue is. Can Narcan hurt them? No, that's one of the amazing things about this product. It's been available for over 40 years. Paramedics have been using it, EDs have been using it, et cetera. And it won't harm a person if they don't have an opioid overdose. But if in fact they are experiencing an opioid overdose, it'll save their life. So we say when in doubt, go ahead and use it. And one of the things that we do in our um, training is we talk about the signs specifically of opioid overdose, which looks different than like a methamphetamine overdose or some other kind of drug or, or product overdose. So it's really great if you consider attending the training because it'll really help you to uh, have, a, have more confidence in carrying this confidence in using it and using it appropriately. And you offer this training. It's online. It's simple. It doesn't take long. You can find more information by Googling Drug Free Duval online. Susan, thank you for your time this morning. We appreciate it. And I should point out that training is free. So there isn't a reason that you shouldn't sign up now. Thank you, Susan. And it includes a Narcan kit. Which is great. So you get the Narcan. You can carry it around with you as I do in my purse. Yes. Thank you.